All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, before I get going on this video, here are the Causeway stars, my buddy Craig Higgins, brand new album called Magic Places, late 70s pop and dance, um, very original, but very familiar sounding. And one of the great selling points of the CD is uh, my name. I don't know if you could see it on there, but I'm one of the people he thanks. <laughs> he thanks me. I should be thanking him. Uh, Craig is a real blessing to me and my family and this channel. Um, a loyal patron for a very long time. And uh, production value on this album is just off the hook. So you got to check it out. Completely uh just superb uh music and ear candy all of that stuff again one more time for the causeway stars affectionately named after the sanibel causeway which uh took a beating during hurricane ian but is somewhat back in business again um so yeah just great music a great person craig higgins who just is um really dedicated to his craft. And I don't know anybody else who puts out albums independently like that, who can um, do that type of production. So kudos to Craig. Speaking of a big production, Journey, <laughs> the Journey scandal. Craig, you're going to like this because you're going to get, people are going to be talking about Causeway Stars because holy crap, Batman. Uh, Neil's wife took to Facebook and I was, uh, getting blown up a couple of hours ago. This is actually nine hours ago now. Um, she and Neil, it's the Neil and McKaylee Sean page. Okay. Uh, Mr. Non-Spirituality again, threatening legal action today about Greg joining the 50th anniversary. Now I'm going to do selective editing because I don't want this video to be taken down. But you can read this for yourself. It's it's up on Facebook. Um, and it's from Neil's wife. So uh, it appears she's writing this. And uh, she's just throwing it all out there. It says, we are reliving what John did at the 2017 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. John didn't want Greg on stage. And John and his wife said that uh, Greg can't be on the same stage with... John, as John's wife, thinks that John is the only hit maker of Journey. Okay? Um, every evolution of Journey has been a great part of the hits and the legacy. My goodness. <laughs> a little emphasis there. Basically, um, what she's saying here is that, you know, the period prior to John's uh, entrance into the band, yeah, the Greg years... Fantastic. I'm even a fan of the Greg solo years before Perry got there. I like those albums. And I know there are many people who do not, but I like that version of the band. It's completely different. It doesn't have much of a relationship with the band that uh, got going, say, after Escape. But here's the deal. There was this amazing transition period when Greg and Steve Perry were in the band together. And really, uh, from a critical standpoint, and the critics really never liked Journey anyway, um, Infinity ends up being their best album, according to the critics. I'm still thinking Escape is better, but okay. Uh, we can have that argument, and it's a fun argument between those two albums. Um I'm a big fan of Departure. I'm a big fan of Evolution. I mean, I enjoy all of that uh, crossover music between Greg and Steve. Anyway, um, it says here, or uh, Neil's wife says, Neil Sean said, I will not go to the induction if Greg is not there. So there was kind of a fight going on behind the scenes, and a lot of people were probably unaware that that was happening. Um, they agreed to allow Greg to join the band, which is a really good thing because Greg is a great musician and a founding member of Journey. 
It goes on to say, this is so insane that I have to let the fans know at this point, because if you really walk in spirituality and you really want uh, to lift each other up, you aren't fighting and harming with intent in your hearts to the man, Neil Sean, and I guess Greg Raleigh. I guess they want to write here instead of man, men. Um, they started the band uh, in 1972. John is biting the hand that feeds him without Greg picking Neil Sean up from school to create music. It's a true story. Uh, those two men, Sean and Raleigh, working so hard together, agrees to hire John. This is <laughs> this is a really good point. Um, it was Greg, again, that recommended John be in the band. Uh, John wouldn't have had his first million <laughs> million dollars, I guess, is what we're talking about here. I know most of us can't relate to this. Hey, you know, when'd you make your first million? I don't know. I was doing YouTube videos when I made. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Haven't made a million. Sorry. Um, as John himself writes in his own book, he's thankful to Neil for believing in him. Don't stop believing, baby. Read your own book again, John. Walk in spirituality. Don't sell it. Walk it in your soul and life. Ooh. So the don't sell it part is almost a little allegation that um, maybe there's a financial motivation to get involved with Christianity in some cases. Have you seen those types of uh, people out there, you know, on TV doing the fundraising thing and, uh, you know, They'll send you, I don't know, a little lapel pin or something, a little cross on there. And I'm I'm trying to stay away from some of the things that I know about. Um, you know, we'll put our blessing on this lapel pin. If you send us a donation of $1,000, people do it. I mean, look, if you're going to do that kind of stuff, send out a Bible or something. Send out something with some eternal value. But uh, anyway... That's a tangent, and I'm not accusing anybody of doing any of that. Just for the record, is this on? It's on. All right. Uh, and then we get into the Steve Lukather. Lukather? <laughs> Sounds like I'm lisping every time I say Steve Lukather. Um, the Lukather problem. You know what's really ironic is that Steve Lukather has a son by the name of Trev Lukather, who just married... John's daughter, Madison Kane. Holy crap, Batman. Complications, right? Anyway, uh, Steve said something negative, and apparently um, there was a big dust up, and you can read that. I'm not going to actually specify the details, because if what happened to Luke is true, then I don't want to be a victim of that either. I don't know if it's true, but according to this post, it's true. Uh, John and his wife uh, are divisive, abusive, belligerent, and uh, nothing about harmony or love or bringing people together. What do they want to do? Do they think they're going to steal Journey or destroy it? No, Journey lives on. Um, and it goes on. It says, no more threats, meaning that she's being threatened. Um NDA, non-disclosure agreement demands. You either need to get in and be thankful to God to be part of this, when she mentions God here, wow, or you need to step out. Okay, so this has been uh, one theme that I haven't really nurtured that much, but I'm thinking that a lot of this might be designed to make John say, you know what, forget it. This isn't worth it. Greg's coming. Um, how are these guys? I mean, okay, so they can be on stage, right? Somehow, because of the money or the hype or whatever it is, they're going to be on stage together. But let's just be truthful here. There's no chemistry in this band. There's there's no harmony. Nobody's riding on the same bus. We learned yesterday that REO Speedwagon still rides on a bus together. <laughs> That, that's actually a, a good way to keep everybody um, together as friends. I, I don't think that's a bad idea. Although, you know, as time goes on, you start to 
hate people for stupid things. You become uh, more picky and uh, just, I don't know. I, see, I look at my own life and I'm certainly less tolerant of people than I used to be. And yes, is that living your faith? No, it's not. I'm just looking at the world and I'm saying, okay, by the way, there is a biblical precedent for this. It's called um, to be separate and don't be unequally yoked. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've taken my yoke and I've moved my yoke over a little bit away from some of the toxic people in the world and on social media. Hence, I'm lurking in the shadows all the time. He's lurking. Yeah, I'm lurking. If you drive to the supermarket, you'll see me lurking in the produce section. Okay, that's where I lurk. Um, anyway, um, this goes on. Stop harassing and abusing with belligerent behavior and putting yourself on bank accounts. I'm sure you will threaten me next. Try to get me to not tell who you are before I have chosen not to talk for years, but your behavior becomes more and more abusive and bizarre and is affecting our journey crew. Wow. Please apologize to Neil Sean immediately. Um, please, as supposed spiritual people, don't obstruct Greg Raleigh at 75 years old from something Neil and Greg began that you both benefit from. Wow. Search your soul. Maybe, just maybe, if the fans see Neil, Greg, and John together with a band in harmony, that is truly what spirituality looks like. Now, after all that, if you guys could just all be in harmony after I just blasted you all, she goes on to say, this is not about politics. This is about protecting Journey's music, bank accounting, and legacy. Humanity for all, and for all, good night. Now, I added that. Um, I have suggested to the attorneys that immediate mediation should be done. Um, and then there's a post attached to this long post where Neil Sean is commenting about stuff. And this would be another video. This would be a couple more videos. I mean, folks, this is amazing. This is, I mean, if you wanted a custom-made feud for YouTube purposes. So I guess, you know, 2023 is the gift of the journey feud going nuclear and even more nuclear. Can you go, what's, what's higher than nuclear? Is it like nuclear fission? Is it fusion? I mean, what, <laughs> I mean, this, uh, and, and yeah, I mean, you can put out videos that say, oh, Journey is toast. They're not coming back, mate. They're just, um, they're, they're going to come back in some shape or form. And I think fans are going to have a lot to say about this. The courts are obviously going to have a lot to say about this. And, you know, for those of us who just want to go see a legendary rock band without the BS, I mean... I guess you find a band that doesn't have any original members or a tribute band or something, and you just go and enjoy the music. I mean, Hugo is out there. You know who Hugo is? I mean, he's great. Uh, Voyage, go see Voyage. There are no lawsuits pending if you go see Voyage, and you're going to get a fairly accurate representation of the music, and you're going to get a guy who looks almost just like Steve Perry. <laughs> Seriously. I mean that's, I think, where a lot of fans are going to go. Now, again, they're selling tickets. They're selling lots of tickets. This is the 50th anniversary. And I think that's going to carry a lot of weight. And a lot of fans would love to see Greg Raleigh up on stage with Journey, as opposed to something called Journey Through Time, which isn't Journey. And if this is being blocked somehow that is really a bad look it's just there's no way to candy coat this and say hey you know the fans don't want to see greg anyway no the fans uh, someone should do a poll twitter poll i'm sure neil sean neil you should do a, a twitter poll and ask fans hey 
how many fans would like to see Greg Raleigh at the 50th anniversary? And I bet you it's going to be an overwhelming yes, because it's about music. It's not about all this behind the scenes, legal wrangling and stuff back and forth. This is about the music. People loved Greg Raleigh. Greg Raleigh was humble. He left the scene right before the thing really blew up. And it was starting to blow up with Greg in it. People think, nah, it wouldn't have been successful if Greg had stayed. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm thinking it would have been. And it would have been interesting to have that Steve Perry, Greg Raleigh dynamic. Eventually, Steve Perry would say, you know what? Maybe we should use, (laughs) maybe we should put Greg on this song with me. You know, Greg might add something to it. I don't know if Steve Perry uh, really liked Greg Raleigh, but um, certainly when they played uh, Walks Like a Lady live, you know, he was praising Raleigh up and down for his uh, keyboard skills and could be just an act, could be real. But if you go back and listen, you hear chemistry, you hear camaraderie. Um, you don't get much of that. Think of it. You don't get much of it after Greg leaves. You get a little bit of it on escape because that was the pinnacle. But then after that, you know, it's Herbie Herbert and grinding these guys into the ground. And uh, it it's not the same as it once was. It had an innocence to it, which then progressed into a corporation. And now we're living out the final days of the corporation and how everybody's just going to carve up what's theirs. And that's what they're most concerned about, which is sad because the fans, (laughs) the fans are kind of, you know, the last thing, although there's some good arguments here. I mean, the fan argument for Greg Raleigh is a hundred percent true. You got to bring Greg in because the fans want Greg to be there. So, okay. That is part one. I'm sure there'll be a part two to this, and uh, I may do it today. I may take a break. Um, There's enough material here to do probably 10 videos, and I apologize in advance for those videos. And one more time on Causeway Stars, people say, well, you never talk about real music. Okay, here's some real music for you. Go listen to Magic Places by Causeway Stars. And that's why I feature albums almost on every video. Because, yeah, it would be cool if people would spend more time uh, watching videos that were just about music and not about all this chaos and trauma. But on the flip side of that, people are interested in the chaos and drama, and it's just human nature. All right. Again, thank you all for watching. Thanks again to Craig Higgins for being a great guy and uh, for helping this channel in a big way this year when uh, the hurricane came through. Uh, Craig was there in a big way for me and my family. So I appreciate that. God bless you all and work on your spirituality, please. I mean, be more spiritual and focus a little bit more on Jesus. How's that?